I'm Prakash Tungana. I'm from Nepal. I'm currently in Osek, Croatia. Mm. Currently, I'm undergoing my master's study program in automotive computing and communications. I think um, uh, Osek is the greenest city uh, in Croatia. Most of the people have been saying that, uh, but when uh, I visit a few places, uh, you get to see a lot of trees and that's not usually within a city. And that's quite like uh, you are within uh, the fresh air all the time and it's quite refreshing for uh, most of the people, I think. And it was a change for me because uh, when <laughs> I was brought up in uh, the country where uh, where you are surrounded by a lot of people uh, every time of the day and a lot of noises but over here it's like quite peaceful uh, and a lot of trees <laughs> must say when I search uh, all the universities across the world uh, that offers masters in automotive computing uh, I found that most of the universities focuses on power drive and uh, applied power electronics part of the uh, car and autonomous vehicle but uh, during this shifting I think uh, power electronics part is quite uh, not significant uh, compared to uh, software and implementations. I think this course is the one of its kind within this region, I think in the whole uh, European region maybe. Uh, and so I think mm, this course provides a quite new perspective uh, regarding mechanical and uh, electronics components in vehicles. I am currently working at uh, ATRK uh, near the campus and there are also other scholarship opportunities. Uh, it's uh, quite good that uh, I, I got enrolled at time that uh, I was able to get on with my course and with, the, with my work at RTRK and it was quite uh, good that they are uh, using my knowledge to implement it in uh, image processing and uh, I think those are the topics that RTRK is uh, quite good. Yeah, I am quite happy with how the courses are being carried out over here. Uh, basically, the laboratories and the uh, construction exercises are quite good uh, regarding uh, new topics which I have to gain by doing. And regarding new softwares, I think uh, those are the softwares that are used in actual uh, real-time environments in autonomous vehicles. At my course, there are a lot of, uh, I think there are 14 students and uh, they are also quite friendly. And yes, uh, at the beginning it was quite difficult because I don't know the language, but once you get to know how the people uh, talk, and it's quite easy to get along. Uh, during my free time, I usually in the evenings uh, come over here, take a walk. Uh, I have always been planning to uh, <laughs> uh, go for a run, but uh, it was always like, okay, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> mm, I, but uh, seriously, it's quite a uh, happening place over here. You can, uh, in the evenings, uh, the, most of the people come here for a uh, walk. Uh, most of the people come here running and even the cycling. Uh, this is, I think, uh, for everyone, this is quite a uh, favorite place over here. Would I recommend other students to come at Ferit? Oh, okay. I already have. <laughs> okay. For me, being a mechanical engineer, uh, to come over here, it was quite difficult just to imagine shifting my courses. But while undergoing the first semester, I found it quite interesting. And if you are interested in automotive, engineering and how the automotive world is shifting towards autonomous vehicles, yes, you, you can apply it and gain new experience in Ferit.